Today is all about food, and we're eating at Thailand's $1.6 billion luxury mega mall, Icon Siam. On the upper floors of this mall, you'll find your luxury brands from Louis Vuitton to Cartier and Dior. But down in the souk, you'll find super affordable and delicious Thai street food from all of the 77 provinces of Thailand, set in the style of a traditional floating market. Today is going to be a tasty day. You might be able to tell that we've changed our hotels since the last video and we're now in a place called Zenik. It's very fancy sounding and it is quite fancy as well. It is gigantic. I am stood in the living room of our studio apartment, you can kind of call it. It's a little bit Japanese inspired as you might be able to tell from these super cool little chairs. How cute are these? Ah, I love them. But anyway, we've got a TV sofa. There's a little kitchenette, which is something that we often miss when we stay in hotels in Thailand, unless you get a place that's a little bit bigger like this. So there's a fridge, a sink, kettle, one balcony there. And then if you go into the bedroom, another balcony there. And a lovely air conditioning blasting in here, air conditioning blasting in there. And then views galore. We are quite near the river and we're actually on sort of the Icon Siam side of things. We normally don't stay in this area. This whole studio was 35 pounds a night, including breakfast. breakfast. Yeah, I know, I was gonna <laughs> say it, I was saying it. So if you wanna see the breakfast, you'll have to watch our next video, which we'll probably have to eat in because we're exploring another area of Thailand and we'll have to eat before we do that. And then, in here, there's like a, almost like a walk-through closet room because you can close both of the doors in here. Well, I'm not gonna close it because then you won't be able to see me. But you can close both of the doors and then you're in a little room. And in here is the bathroom. For 35 pounds a night for a very big room like this, including breakfast, is really good, in my opinion. It's massive. We've probably never had such a big room for this price. What I am excited for today, which is also food related, is that we are heading towards, or to, Icon Siam. We've been there a couple of times before. It is a gigantic mega mall gigantic mega mall and you know what that means in Thailand when you go to a gigantic mega mall they have a gigantic mega mall food court and this one is an inside floating market theme it looks so cool I can't wait to eat everything because I'm really hungry now I'm really hungry <laughs> the theme aside from being actual floating market themed is that they have food from every single one of the 77 provinces in Thailand, which just sounds super cool. It sounds like they would have so many things to eat, drink, snack. Mm, 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 mm. This place is massive. You can see there's like seven floors up there, but this isn't actually where we were planning to come into, but straight away as you come in, there's just a place selling ice cream, chocolate, donuts. Anything sweet and delicious, it's all here. <laughs> this is not even the food court. This is just an extra court of delicious snacks. Look how many floors there are in this place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen floors total. Yeah, that's actually insane. And we need UG, food and speciality. Where we're coming on to now is actually not the food court either. It is a court full of restaurants. It's called the Veranda, I think. But it's not the actual underground floating market food court. We have to go down one more for that. Even though we already went down one, we must have come in on the first floor, not the ground floor. So we need to go down one more. But look at this. How nice. Like fancy, fancy cafes, restaurants. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, we're now in the Souk Siam which is where all the sort of street food stands are. Now it's time to eat. Wow, full-size crocodile. That's a bit intense. That, that is a bit intense. That is a bit intense. What? There's a lot of people here. We came here about three o'clock. We thought we were gonna miss the rush, but it's still quite busy, but there's a lot of food to yeah. choose from. Oh, crispy pork. I do like crispy pork, you know. Mm. Get some, my love. Let's find somewhere to eat this, but I've got crispy pork. Look at that crispy skin. Oh. Are you eyeing something up? I am. It's called Kai Pod Bangra, but I want to have the Somtam Kao Pod, which is like, um, well, it says here salted egg corn salad, but it's like a papaya salad without the 
papaya and with corn instead. <laughs> this is one of our favorite dishes. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. You can't, you can't miss it. And some tam cow pot. Uh, chili, th uh, three chili. Pet. <laughs> That looks spicy. What have you done? What do you mean? It looks really spicy. No, it's fine. Oh. Yeah. It gets better and better. Mm. Look at that. That looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. That looks spicy, sour, and delicious all the same time. Yeah, it looks everything. We need to sit down though. This one is a definitely sit down one. Trying to find somewhere to sit is proving very hard. Uh, everywhere is packed. Oh, that worked out better actually. It did. I was so nervous I was going to spill really smelly fish sauce on somebody because it was like so narrow, so many people. Okay, so for anyone that actually comes here, don't give up. Go upstairs to this section. You're still inside the Suk Siam, but it's like an upstairs seating area. And there's actually loads, loads of seats here. And downstairs, there's none here. It'll all be worth it. Some tam cow pod or papaya corn salad, I guess you could call it. It's got everything I love in there. Okay, let me get a little bit of everything on here. And you put three chilies in there, right? I did. May have been a mistake. We'll, we'll find out. It looks a little bit on the spicy side. No, it's spicy. It's spicy. So far, so good though. Mm. And the toasted peanuts on there. They add so much. They add so much flavor. So it's salty, crunchy, soft, crispy, crackalackin. This one, total 10 out of 10. And it was only 100 baht. So crispy pork is one of my favorite toppings in Thailand. They, they do it so well. It's just always so tasty. And you know, you might think crispy pork is a bit basic, but just look at it. Look at the skin and just look at the meat. It's perfectly cooked. The skin. It's so crispy. Wow. That is well worth 200 baht. Good start, huh? Very good start. I didn't think just having crispy pork on its own would be as satisfying. You know, because usually you want to have it with some rice or something, but it's just so good. Wow, that is spicy. You've gone from not eating much spice to eating quite a lot of spice. Of me. Mm. Yeah. Wow. It's making my face sweat. This is an amazing dish. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people know that you can get a corn variety, but we've been eating it now for a couple of years and. It never disappoints. No. And if you like corn in dishes, it's a dream. Are you struggling? It's quite spicy. Do you see that my face is sweating? Yeah. Can you actually see it? Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Is it getting hotter? I think I need something... Um, sweet. Something sweet, something sour, something bready or milk. Just so you guys know exactly where we went up, this... <laughs> take these stairs if you want to go upstairs. <laughs> we found this super old school looking stand called Lung Yen Coffee. So Dylan's gonna get a coffee and I'm gonna get a Thai tea and they have huge things of grass jelly, a hot hot vat of what I can only expect to be maybe milk and then pots of coffee. It looks incredible. I did try to say no bags please. Uh, I don't think he heard me <laughs> or maybe he didn't understand my Thai. So we've got bags of coffee and tea. Let's get out of the way for a second and try them out. That looks Look cool. That. So this is the Thai milk tea with grass jelly option. Mm -hmm. I have a little bit of spice left in my mouth from earlier and this is doing me so well. Is this sweet? It is sweet, but it's not overbearingly sweet. It's actually the perfect amount of sweet for me, which is probably quite sweet. And that was how much? This one was 80 baht. The coffee one was also 80 baht. So 80 baht each. <laughs> I love Thai coffee. It's really strong, really sweet. God, I'm gonna be buzzed after all this coffee. It's huge. Oh, 
Thai coffee and Lao coffee and Vietnamese coffee is like, it's like caramel. So they put so much condensed milk in there. Oh, it just tastes so good. It tastes like chocolate, you know? This is one of the best Thai coffees I've had, actually. Really? It's not too strong coffee taste. So they must use good coffee and enough condensed milk. Really nice. I know I've only had crispy pork and a coffee up to now, but I did have some of your Somtam. But now I think it's already time to move on to the sweet stuff because we've been walking around and there's just so many there's sweet stuff. So many delicious looking things, and we're like, oh that, oh that, oh that. It's like, do we have space for more savory food? No, let's just go for dessert. <laughs> These ones, the um, cow niel. Oh. Is that with um, pandan? Pandan. Okay. You want with pandan? Yeah. Yeah, just like this. Thank you. Ooh! What is that? Oh! 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 So, what we've got here is jackfruit stuffed with sticky rice with pandan, hence why it's green, and a sweet coconut drizzle. Wow. On top. Mmm. 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 Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. It must be quite similar to mango sticky rice, but with jackfruit. Mmm. The jackfruit is really nice. It's like a little bit sour. It's a really good jackfruit. And then the sticky rice is that like gooey, chewy, sweet. <clears throat> and then, yeah, it is pretty similar to uh, mango sticky rice. Although mango sticky rice is on a whole nother level as well. But this is so good. These two were 60 baht together. Condensed milk, yeah. yeah. And sugar, please. Sugar? Mm. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> We've got the most gorgeously presented and gorgeously made roti, original roti, which is basically just condensed milk and sugar on top. My favorite part about getting a roti is obviously eating it, but my second favorite part is how they make it and when they're stretching out the dough and sort of slip slopping it onto the just the surface just to stretch it out and then they're frying it and tossing it around. Everything looks and smells incredible and then you end up with this and you think, wow, without further ado. That is so nice. Oh my god, my mouth is watering so yeah. much. Yeah. It tastes friendly, doughy, crunchy. It's a little bit of a crunch from the white sugar. It is the ultimate comfort food. That's just sending me back to pancake day back in the UK. Yeah. It really tastes like a just a pancake with condensed milk and sugar. Ah. Oh. And this dish, the original, was only 40 baht. Very good value. Mm. We've got corn milk drink puta brand, but I just read the back to try to figure out what's inside. The ingredients of corn milk are primarily corn milk, so that's a good start. You know, it tastes exactly, exactly like you think it would. It tastes like just sweet corn, but like creamy milky. This is not weird, but this is different. I don't know if I love it or if I just accept it. <laughs> eight pieces for, eight pieces for 60 baht. Come on. Yeah. Should we try them? They look so Let's cute. Let's not get the durian one. No, I don't want the durian one either. Hello, uh, can we have small? That looks so cool. That looks amazing. Hey. Okay, do you think we have enough stuff now? Yes. Wow. Up here. wow, so cool. Oh, look at the nice sunset as well. We've come up to the top of Icon Siam to finish off our food and sunset is just about to happen. So all the buildings behind us are super golden, orange. Yeah. Wow. Look how cute. The little pandan cakes. Ooh. You know when a sponge has a little bit of, I guess, rice flour in it and it almost becomes a little bit like rubbery sponge? That's this. You know what it needs? Condensed, condensed milk. milk. <laughs> yeah. Everything needs condensed milk. I think we have to try the last and most beautiful 
dessert of this evening, mango sticky rice with seven different colors of rice. I wonder if they taste different or if they're just like beautifully colored, but it doesn't just come like that. It comes with two other components and they're both very, very important. One of them is the sauce that brings it all together, which is a sweet coconut sauce. Oh, it smells incredible. Little dried crispy mung beans and they make it like a little crunch on top. This is our first mango sticky rice of this time around in Thailand. So there's a lot riding on this to be really good. Oh my gosh, that mango. <laughs> Just, oh, slice and dice. What's so nice about it as well is there's like a hint of saltiness. It's either the sauce or the rice, sometimes both. There's a hint, hint, hint of saltiness. So when you have that with a really sweet mango, it like cuts it perfectly and it becomes the most delicious dessert. Simple, delicious. Normally it doesn't come with seven different colors of rice. That's just super fun. Mm. Good to be back. Very good to be back. Loving it. So there's actually a bar right up here called Artscape and we got two Coronas and because it's so hot outside because we're now technically inside but it's totally outside. Two cold Coronas. So I was just talking to the owner and they said it's a bar but it's got loads of artwork on the side so it's trying to mix art and bar and food all together. It's a great way to end the video or the day up here watching the sun go down. Uh, I'm full of good food, I'm full of good vibes. It's so good to be back in Thailand. I've missed it so much. Cheers. 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 Cheers, guys. See you in the next video where we are traveling down south to the lovely south of Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty obvious. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.